Good morning, everyone. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. I'm glad you're here with me. Thank you. Well, they had a magnitude 4.2 earthquake in Southern California down by Los Angeles. According to USGS, it was two kilometers north of Pacoma, California. As of 8.34 a.m. Central Daylight Time, and that would be 6.34 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12,261 people reported feeling this earthquake. Using Google Earth, I'll show you the location of that earthquake. And as you know, any earthquake has a 5% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. I had covered this area before because there was uh, uh, several small earthquakes, kind of a swarm in this location. This is definitely along the St. Andreas fault line. Yeah, not good. And let's see. I did have um, some different fault lines in this area. And I covered uh, past earthquakes. Um, they have the uh, an area close to here, Veterans Park. There it is, right close to where this earthquake occurred. Um, that area collapsed um, during an earthquake that occurred in 1971. So we have 35 earthquakes listed in this area of the map. Uh, we got a 1.2, another 1.2, a 1.1, a 1.2, another 1.2, another 1.0, a 1.1, a 1.3, a 1.4, a 0.8, uh, a 2.1 right there uh, 1.1 what else we got a lot of aftershocks um, a 3.3 that was 9.3 kilometers in depth a 2.2 a 2.1 a 1.5 and a 2.4 30 uh, just updated let's go back up here um, 35 earthquakes so far today alone. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the testimonies, the reports on EMSC, strong, violent, and loud, lasted around 10 seconds. I bet you it was larger. San Fernando Valley uh, definitely felt it. Our walls shook first, and that was what alert us. And then our beds, we got up and just stood there lasted around 10 seconds. See, normally larger earthquakes last longer. Woke me up, strong jolt. Felt like it rolled on strong enough to wake me right up from a good sleep. Several seconds of strong lateral shaking. A few small items fell from shelves. Double jolts followed another two aftershocks. Woke us up, loud bang. Wow, it was very shaky. Woke us up. Yeah, it was strong enough to wake everyone up. Hard slam and then window shaking. Scary. Uh, felt pretty strong. Everything in the bedroom shook for a good few seconds. Honestly, I thought it was going to get stronger and start knocking things over. Surprised it wasn't rated stronger. Reminded me of the 6.9 that hit social. Last year, early July. Yeah, I think it was stronger. We'll probably upgrade this one. And yeah, what else we got? Everything shook pretty hard. I'll give you a link to EMSC so you can read these reports. A very long quake. Well, let it say in 10 seconds. Um, another report of being woke up. Chandeliers were swinging. And the dog went scattering out of the house into the backyard. We definitely heard that horrible rumbling that came from deep within the earth. Luckily, it didn't last that long. Yeah, woke everybody up. Yeah, and reports are going to probably come in. There's going to be a lot more reports coming in. Felt reports. We got Bakersfield. Um, I wonder if they felt it over there by Las Vegas. Yuma, Arizona, uh, maybe not. San Diego, Tijuana, 
Yeah, Long Beach, California. Got to give a shout out to Hound Jog. She lives down there. One of the followers for a long time. She's been with us for years. Cathedral City. Yeah, look at that. The fault line did not move very much, which is an indication. Yep. Yep, pressure has still built. Like I said, you got a 5% chance of a much larger earthquake. Yeah, subsidence of the Pacific Plate underneath the North American Plate, but it didn't move very much. First initial wave of the earthquake came from the north. Tension was applied going, oh, probably north a little bit. See how the fault line slightly moved? See that going towards the right and dropping down? There is a lot of schools in this area and water tanks, reservoirs. Yeah, the fault line with the sand in just fault line runs right up through here. Yeah. Yeah, we got Glendale, Pasadena, Hollywood. Yeah, see, I drew some of these fault lines uh, for the Santa Monica area. Uh, Newport, Inglewood Fault. I'll zoom in so you can see those. Can you see that? Yes, yeah, schools are not open right now. Um, hopefully you are prepared for a large earthquake. Um, yeah. And not far from the Garlock Fault, too. Look at that. Yeah. And they've been warning because of the um, San Andreas Fault, this S-Bin is locked. Um, yeah, a lot of tension has built up. And they're worried that these earthquakes that are happening up there by Coso and Ridgecrest is going to cause an earthquake. Because the energy's been traveling down along in this area. going to cause a large earthquake along the San Andreas Fault Zone. Um, please stay safe. Always be prepared for a disaster. And I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all.